Welcome to the Greenbridge Minute, brought to you by Greenbridge Health and Greenbridge Society. My name is Dr. Gerald Knapp. In the past, cannabis has been demonized and incorrectly called a gateway drug. Although more research is needed, there is mounting evidence that cannabis can serve a role in safely and effectively treating addiction to dangerous drugs. Millions of people suffer from substance abuse in the United States. Over 1.8 million people are addicted to prescription painkillers, with another 400,000 addicted to heroin. In addition, nearly half a million people are addicted to benzodiazepines, not to mention the tens of millions addicted to alcohol and tobacco. Cannabis can make a difference in the fight against substance addiction. Let's look at some preclinical evidence. Cannabis is composed of hundreds of bioactive chemicals. One group of chemicals in cannabis are the cannabinoids. These chemicals interact with the body's endocannabinoid system. The two major cannabinoids are cannabidiol, or CBD, and tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC. Due to the federal government's classification of THC, CBD has been easier to study for treating addiction. In animal studies, CBD has been shown to decrease addiction behaviors. In one study published in Addiction Biology, CBD reduced the reward facilitating effect of morphine. In 2009, an animal study was published in the Journal of Neuroscience, which demonstrated CBD's ability to inhibit heroin-seeking behavior for up to two weeks. This research group found that CBD reversed damage caused by heroin to the glutamate transmitter system and cannabinoid receptors while activating their serotonin system. A study from 1975 reported a synergistic effect between THC and CBD in reducing morphine withdrawal symptoms in rodents. Other preclinical studies have suggested a role of certain chemical components of cannabis in reducing tobacco smoking. In a 2013 human study, CBD reduced the number of cigarettes consumed by approximately 40%. It was reported in 1993 that beta caryophylline which is a terpene found in cannabis and black pepper, reduced smoking withdrawal symptoms. There needs to be more research studying the chemical components of cannabis and their effects on addiction in humans. We can gain some insight into the relationship between cannabis and addiction by looking at the opioid crisis. The opioid crisis has devastated parts of the United States, with opioid addiction tragically leading to record levels of overdose deaths. Several states have approved medical cannabis for treating opioid use disorder, including Pennsylvania, New York, and New Jersey. And multiple studies have attempted to assess the impact that medical cannabis has had on the opioid crisis. Early research looking at multiple states over an 11-year period reported nearly a 25% reduction in opioid deaths in states with access to medical cannabis. A later study has called into question the findings of this particular study and the relationship between medical cannabis and opioid deaths. However, other studies have shown similar reductions in opioid addiction and deaths. In 2018, a study in the Journal of Health Economics reported a 21% reduction in opioid deaths in states with medical cannabis programs, compared to states without access to medical cannabis. This study also pointed out that in areas with more accessibility to medical cannabis, or more cannabis dispensaries, there was an even greater reduction in opioid deaths. In another 2018 study, Ashley Bradford and colleagues demonstrated a significant reduction in the amount of opioid doses prescribed in states with medical cannabis programs. In states with active medical cannabis dispensaries, there was a reduction of 3.74 million daily opioid doses per year. These studies do not directly speak to using cannabis in patients with addiction, but they present evidence that medical cannabis has had a positive effect on the opioid crisis. I have seen numerous patients reduce and eliminate their long-term use of opioids with the help of medical cannabis. Also, I have witnessed many patients wean off drugs used to treat opioid addiction, such as methadone and suboxone. A study published in the journal Drug and Alcohol Dependence examined the effects of dronabinol, which is a synthetic form of THC, and opioid detoxification. The study reported that dronabinol reduced the severity of opioid withdrawal and participants who elected to smoke cannabis during the trial were more likely to complete treatment regardless of which treatment group they were assigned to. In small clinical studies, CBD has been shown to reduce anxiety and cravings in heroin abusers. In one study, both the 400 mg and the 800 mg dose of CBD reduced anxiety and cravings up to seven days after the administration of CBD. 
Although these studies were small, they do support the anecdotal evidence frequently seen by medical cannabis professionals. We often see the substitution of dangerous and addictive drugs with cannabis, and in the last few years, a number of studies have reported on this behavior in patients. A paper was published in the journal Drug and Alcohol Review in 2015 that surveyed 473 cannabis users in Canada where cannabis is federally legal. 87% of respondents reported using cannabis as a substitute for prescription drugs, alcohol, and or illicit drugs. Over 80% of respondents reported substitution for prescription drugs, over 50% for alcohol, and over 30% for illicit drugs. In a study published in 2009 in the Harm Reduction Journal, 350 medical cannabis users at a dispensary in Berkeley, California were surveyed. Many of these patients reported using cannabis as a substitute for prescription drugs, alcohol, and illicit drugs. Prescription drug substitution was the most common at 66%. The two most common reasons given for substitution were fewer side effects and better symptom management. Substance abuse and addiction is a serious problem in the United States, costing many lives each year. Although more research is needed, cannabis is proving to be a tool that can aid these patients in their battle against addiction. In the cases of drug substitution, cannabis is a much safer alternative. If used under the guidance of a medical professional and titrated appropriately, Medical cannabis poses little risk at all. At Greenbridge Health, we help each patient find the best cannabis regimen for them. If you would like to schedule a medical cannabis consultation, please go to our website, greenbridgehealth.com, and make an appointment to meet with one of our experienced medical professionals. We look forward to helping guide you on your cannabis journey back to health.